All right, welcome back. We're here for our second uh, six personal perspectives, the 80-20 principle. I'm excited. This one comes up the most in high level conversations that I get surrounded with, but here to help present my friend, Natasha Tello. How are you? I am fabulous, Brad. Excited. Let's let's yeah. get something in. So let's talk. Uh, get, get, set me up. What's the 80-20 principle? Well, it's also known as Pareto's principle. Some people know it as that. And it's really, what are the 20% of things that you do that give you the 80% of the results that you're seeking? So awesome. if I were to like dive deep in real estate sales, what are the 20% activities that we need to be doing or that we should be doing in the real estate business that lead to those 80% results? Yeah. And, you know, we can twist this thing around a bunch of different ways, right? Like 80% of the things we do are only going to produce 20% of our results. Or some people like to say 80% of the agents are fighting over 20% of the business or 20% of the agents are enjoying 80% of the business. And maybe there's some secret to that, right? Or there's that secret sauce. And really that's what this 80-20 principle speaks to because by definition, you're right. The way I learned it was 20% of our effort produces 80% of our results. Absolutely. I think, you know, I recently read a book that Dan Sullivan wrote uh, with Dr. Benjamin Hardy and Linda McKissick, our special guest for this episode is in there and talks. It's, it's basically a book that goes 10 X is easier than two X. And yeah. Linda talks about the 80, 20 principle. And one of the things that she says in this book is actually constantly be refining what your 20% is and delegate and hire away the 80%. Let, that resonated so much with me. Well, let's hear from Linda herself. Awesome. Hey guys, Linda McKissick here. And Natasha asked me to talk to you about the 80-20 principle. The 80-20 principle is my favorite principle of all. I feel like it's the most needed if you wanna build a big life. See, they discovered a long time ago that everything in life, all valuable resources, time, money, and energy, will um, sort itself in an 80-20 principle automatically, meaning 20% of the people will be the top salespeople, 20% uh, of the people will make the most money. And so what we have to do is figure out how do we figure out the 20% of everything that's important to us, whether it's our time, our money, our energy, and how do we make sure that we do those most valuable 20% that give us 80% of our results. And the truth is, it's the 80% that winds up screaming our name or occupying our time if we're not very consciously aware of this principle and learn to work it in our favor. Matter of fact, if you wanna hear my story about how I use the 80-20 principle to 10X my life, Natasha's gonna share with you my story in the 10X book on how I used really honestly the 80-20 principle and continue to find the new 20% of every activity and even of the roles and jobs that I played so that I could keep getting 80% 80 result, 80 results. Because if we don't learn the 80-20 principle, we actually stay in the 2X, and the 2X is where life is really difficult and really hard. So we wanna figure out how do I master the 80-20 principle and learn very quickly what are the 20% activities that are gonna give me the biggest return. And in my business, that's gonna be listing, prospecting, negotiating, and selling, and everything else should be done by someone else or not done at all. And if you really understand the 80-20 uh, principle, what you will begin to realize is what is 20% of your time now, maybe over time, isn't your 20% even more. You'll take that 20 and take it down to 10 and five and even to 1%. Pretty much my life now is done on about 1% of activities that give me the largest return. But it begins with you figuring out what is the 20% of anything. If you're at home, your 20% isn't the laundry, it's time with your family. If you're making money, it's the activities that make you the most money. If it's um, your energy, what things give you energy and cause you a better return and what things actually take your energy. So anything in the world that's valuable to you, any resource, you can very quickly figure out what's the 20% and what's the 80. And that's a very good use of your time. And the truth is, the way I built my life to a big business is I got out of the 2X, which is mostly 80%, 
and I got into the 10X, which is filled with all of the 20%. So I hope you uh, can learn to master and use the 80-20 principle to build yourself a big life. All right, what'd you hear inside of what she said? So, you know, really it's, it's always about refining that 80-20 and always, you know, fine tuning it, fine tuning it in all areas of your life. Yeah. You know, Natasha, if we sat down today and took a piece of paper out and we wrote down the hundred things that you were going to do today, all the little things, all the big things, just wrote them down. The, the concept is 80 of those things were just things on your piece of paper, but we could probably circle 20 of the hundred and put a dollar sign next to each one and actually show those are the activities that translated to results in your life. And some are uh, high dollar producing activities and some are, are medium dollar producing activities. But the point of it is that how do we, we focus and separate and prioritize those activities so we have clarity, not that the others aren't uh, important or don't need to get done. It's just, we don't wanna over prioritize them instead of prioritizing the ones that get you the biggest bang for your buck, right? Correct. And and that and again, that goes in all areas of your life, right? Absolutely. So, you know, we can that. put this thing uh, in an, an extreme for a minute and say, you know, if you can take the 100 things you do, we could find the 20 that are the highest dollar producing activities for you, then we could 20% that. And I could probably find your five big rocks, uh, which are in your life. And then the way, I could 20% that yeah. and take it to your one thing, right? Yep. And back it up. Uh, we're, we're talking today about just getting focused on what are your 20% activities, but there's certainly this concept keeps playing its way all the way down to your one thing. Yeah. So why don't we, um, why don't we give our group um, their work for today. We've got two questions we need you to prep for, and this okay. is what we want you to sit down and do now. So the first one, first question is, do you have clarity on what your 20% activities in your real estate practice are? Like in your real estate business, what are the 20% activities? I love question it. Number one. And the second right, question the second is, one? yeah, the next question is, uh, of course we're talking about work, but the truth is to live a big life, it, it's, it's a faceted life. So the, the second question is really, do you know what the 20% activities are for your health? Do you know what the 20% activities are for your finances, your relationship, uh, your spirituality? You know, you can kind of apply this to your wheel of life because at the end of the day, every facet of your life has a 20% activity. Um, are you clear on what yours are? Thank you for joining us today. Until next time, Natasha, I'll see you there. Have a great week, everyone.